kh-tv.com. What are you looking at? Hi, I'm Tiffany Renee, and we are here tonight at the House of Darion for Houston Press's second annual Web Show Awards, showcasing the best in local and social media. So come on, let's go enjoy the show. from the Houston Press. Can you tell me a little bit of how the award show came about? Um, last year was the first one, and we uh, basically put it together to uh, start recognizing some of the best people in Houston social media, because Houston social media is amazing. Everybody's great. It's like a big family. But dysfunctional family sometimes, but we get along, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. So can you walk me through the nomination process and how the winners are selected? Um, there's a committee at the Houston Press, and um, we take, you know, recommendations, you know, from our readers. We have a little, you know, process that way, so we can um, sort of, you know, find out about, you know, maybe there's new talent that we don't know about that we haven't been hip to yet, or, you know, we can reaffirm that, yeah, hey, we're on the right track with some of these people. Um, that's the best, the best part of that is that we get to experience and discover new people that we didn't know about before, right along with you know, them. and so then, you know, we, we jump on the bandwagon, too. Well, can you give us a sneak peek into next year's award show and maybe some new categories that are going to be added into the mix? We don't know. Okay. We'll have, you know, the, the core categories, I'm sure, you know, unless Twitter implodes or something, uh, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, it, the thing with the Web Awards that I've learned over the past year, too, is that there's some categories that just sort of became outdated and outmoded, which sounds crazy, but that's the way social media is. It, it you know, it, you, things move really, really fast. E.T. Boy's food truck. Matt. Matt. I'm Ryan and this is E-Boy. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about your food truck. What kind we of food? We are one of Houston's first gourmet food trucks. We serve, we serve gourmet sandwiches on the streets of Houston. Um, we got awesome food. Uh, and We also make our own ice cream, gelato, and sorbets. So come ch ch check us out. All right, and what's the most requested food item, you guys? Our pork yeah. snuggies, for sure. It's a steamed bun with a braised pork belly, homemade pickle, hoisin, and green onion. Sounds very good. Yeah. This gentleman wants one of those. <laughs> we'll get that right up. And the winner is Urban Swain. Shanna and Felice, winners of the best food blog, Urban Swing. Urban Swing. <laughs> All 
All right, now you guys have been up for less than a year. Are you surprised at how fast it's taken off? Absolutely. Yes and no, right? Yeah, yes. yes and no. Like we set high goals for ourselves, right? But we are we were so not thinking that we were gonna win. Right. Like I mean, we we entered and we're like, okay. I mean, we we work hard. We have passion in what we right. do. We love what we do. We live this. It's our life. But we were absolutely taken off guard. Right. We for this. we went into expecting to win because that's what we do. But yeah. we didn't expect to win. If that yeah. makes sense. That makes right. Sense. Yeah. All right. And so, do you guys go at it at once a week together or? Sometimes make a trip alone and both. We're both. a couple times a week. We're every day. We're Urban Swank. We're every doing day. Urban Swank every day. Yep. And some events we are doing them together. If it's a black napkin, if it's um, a quick bite, and you know we have regular jobs. This is our passion and our love job. Yep. And so if I'm traveling or she's traveling, mm -hmm. we'll grab a quick bite and that'll be an individual post. But a lot of them we do together. Yep. What do you ladies do when you have a bad dining experience? Well, actually, our mantra for our site, we're about sharing a great experience, right? Great food, great experience. If it sucks, if it sucks, you're probably not going to see it or hear it on our blog. Okay, just be a little secret. You may just want to ask and say, well, you know, guys, we didn't see that place on your blog. Yeah. We'll let you know offline if it sucks or not. But we're about people coming to our site and being able to say, I can pick from a series of posts and I'm going to be able to go somewhere that has great food and a great experience. Right. All right, so I don't know about you, but I want to go have a quick bite with these two ladies right here. DJ Dave Wrangler, UJK for Life. I want to thank you for speaking from the bottom of your heart tonight. Thank you very much. You know, it's nothing better for me to do than share my life with people like you, incredible people in here who have supported me, who my illustrious, I, that's what somebody told me my career was, my illustrious <laughs> career. So uh, thank you to the Houston Press who have always supported me and uh, UGK for life. You can scream that in any room and people are going to cheer. You can be anywhere, like in an emergency room or a hospital. Just go, UGK for life. All right, I am here with a man that needs no introduction, Fun B. So you're the winner tonight of Best Twitterer. Yes, yes, I have the distinction of being Best Twitterer for, uh, I guess, half of 2011 and uh, top half of 2012. Just keep on winning. All right, so what makes you the best Twitterer in Houston? Uh, apparently, uh, I was chosen because I don't just tweet about albums and songs and concerts. I actually use Twitter as an op opportunity to socialize, being that it's an actual social media. So I try to, you know, let people get an inside look into my life, my daily works. I even let people see my family, you know, what we're doing. It's just an opportunity for people to, you know, kind of get behind the wall, see the wizard, so to speak. What is your best tweet, sort of the one you got the most responses so far? Um, usually the tweets that tend to get the most replies or retweets and mentions tend to be whenever I say, like, you know, basically anything about Pimp C. You know, a lot of my followers, they don't follow me for me. A lot of them follow me because they got love for UGK, myself, and Pimp C. So usually whenever I say something about UGK or Pimp C, my mentions go out the window. It's, it just really gets crazy. You know, and that's just, you know, because people have a lot of love for, you know, UGK. Well, I'm sure that your Twitter account has got a lot of folks at Rice trying to scramble into that class, huh? Yeah, yeah, we've been really lucky, man. The kid, well, the kids at Rice University are incredible students, some of the brightest people in the country, and, you know, I'm just very lucky to be able to speak into their lives and Rice University with the help of the HERE Foundation. And, uh, you know, just, you know, representing hip-hop in a true way, in a pure way, instead of just letting other people kind of let people, you know, know what we are. I think it's better that it comes from the horse's mouth. And if you were tweeting right now, what would you tweet? Uh, I would tweet doing an interview with KHTV.com. A little bit warm. Must be the vodka I've had. <laughs> Hashtag back inside AC. <laughs> Jenny Johnson, receiver of Tweet of the Year tonight. What was that Tweet of the Year? The Tweet of the Year would be, most people don't know this, but you can quietly be a Republican or a Democrat. 
What was it about your tweet that set it apart from all the others? I would have to say I think everyone collectively has is a little sick and tired of hearing other people's opinions and I think everyone just wants to go to the poll and make their vote and go on about their business. And I think it was just me bringing it up that yeah, you can quietly do it. You don't have to it's not an argument, you know, and no one wants to hear your opinion. So that that was uh, what kind of was drove me to write that job. Yeah. Honesty answer. Honesty, yeah. yeah absolutely. I'm honored to give this to a good friend of mine representing the modular tonight. The modular. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much. Um, I thank Houston for supporting all the food trucks. Now I'm here with Joshua, who just won for best food truck Twitter. All right, now what food truck are you representing? I'm the modular. Hey, and what kind of food do you guys serve? We make up food every day. Uh, it depends. Sometimes it's lobster and risotto, other days bone marrow, uh, tuna poke tacos, whatever we feel like in the morning. We call our suppliers and we find it and we bring it on the truck. Okay, sounds very delicious. Well, I have to ask, I thought I made a good shoe choice today, but you're kind of outshining, I think, everyone at the moment. So, what inspired the shoe choice? The shoes? Uh, <laughs> honestly, because Bun B was going to be here. He constantly is showing off his shoes, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to outdo it tonight. I'm going to go and pull these shoes off. Just a little friendly competition. <laughs> Definitely. Right. Well, thank you so much, Joshua. Yeah, yeah, you. Check out the modular. <laughs> Give it up for Cool Radio. Woo! I hope they play the, the song we made for you guys. Cool uh, Radio. All right, guys, I'm here with my fellow Cougars, Coug Radio, who just won for Best Music Blog. All right, you guys just launched in March, and already so much attention, and this great award. What do you think sets yourself apart from the other radio stations that are out there, University Run? Well, at least in the state of Texas, we are on 24-7-365. We have 50 DJs at Coug Radio. So, you know, we're less than a year old, and already we've already, you know, we've won an award. We have international listeners. We are growing exponentially as we speak. Well, that is awesome. It is my honor to uh, announce our next presenter, my new best friend in the house. We've not done the shop together yet, but I predict it's going to happen. Houston, Texas linebacker, Connor Barwin. We'll give it up for Connor. Here with Connor Barwin, Houston Texan. Not only are you presenting tonight, but you're also a winner. Yes, I won, uh, I don't know how, but I won the best local sports uh, Twitter account in Houston. Okay. All right, so tell me a little bit about your Twitter account. Um, well, I obviously talk a little bit about football, and I have a huge uh, following because of, you know, the support that we have in this city, um, the Houston Texans. And then, you know, I, t I talk a lot about, uh, you know, what I do in my personal life a little bit. I venture out in the city. I go to a lot of concerts. Uh, I go to a lot of different restaurants, and I'm always kind of tweeting pictures of them and where I'm at and that kind of stuff. And I think uh, it's got some interest from the uh, people in Houston. What are you most excited to see tonight? Well, I'm excited to meet the fake John McClain, because John McClain's the biggest uh, sports reporter here in Houston, and uh, the best fake account is the guy that runs the fake John McClain account. So I'm very excited to finally see who does that, because they are uh, absolutely hilarious, and it'll be fun to see who, uh, who runs that account. <laughs> Next on the list, we have uh, the best fake Twitter account. <laughs> so I'm very excited to finally meet this person, because I love this. Uh, does this. Uh, the winner is the fake John McClain. <laughs> Show your face, finally. Let's see who you are. Thank you, Connor, for your punk and a thug and a loser. And your shirt face and a dirty hater and a loser. And I want to thank you very much for this award. Thank you very much. It's not me. At least tell me you really run that. I wish I did. I really did. Follow the fake John McClain. <laughs> Christian Palmer, who just won for funniest Twitterer of the year. Did you ever find yourself having to censor your tweets or just let it go? I 
Um, do not censor myself. That's why I created the Twitter account in the first place, so I could not be on Facebook. <laughs> Like my grandmother's over there. So there's inspiration in all things for you. Evidently. <laughs> um, I tweet a lot in all caps, and that is a result of drunkenness usually. But not always. <laughs> Sometimes it's aggression, huh? I don't get too aggressive. Uh, I try to keep everything positive. I'm not a negative person by nature. I think that might be why people like me so much, although I can't be sure. Tell people where we can start following you. Uh, my handle is Pogzangelo, all one word, the and is spelled out. I got it from a Mad Lib, because I know everyone's going to ask. <laughs> all right, I want to hear some noise. We're welcome to the stage now. Local sports blogger and radio personality, Sean Pendergast. Yeah. Slash your Twitter, it also means you have this spouse or significant other that is most angry at you for tweeting all the time about sports. So this probably goes partially to Lance Erline and his wife, Nicole Erline. It's a, it's a great award to win, and for me, since I'm in radio, it's a great way for me to keep up with, you know, with, with athletes, keep up with my listeners, and then also have fun. I've, I've got five kids and a great wife, so I'm able to get some of the personality out there, too, in some of my personal life, so I love Twitter. I love being in Houston, and it's a, it's a nice fit for me doing this with sports. All right, and what's your favorite Houston for, sports franchise to chat about? Uh, definitely the Texans. I mean, it gets the most buzz. And, and on a Sunday, when I'm tweeting live about Texans games, I'll pick up anywhere from 50 to 200 Twitter followers just from retweets and things like that. So it's a great way to add to your, your, your listenership as well. As and it helped that it was definitely an exciting year as well. Yeah, it always it's always better following a team that's good instead of one that sucks, at least for Twitter. So people are paying attention. So, yeah, it definitely helped. So best use of crowdsourcing when it was time to boring acceptance speeches, but my man, Jer my man Jeremy, who's in my department, he said better ex acceptance speeches, so I want to let him say something really good. You better give us 50 feet. Yeah, you should back back. Just got the award for the hashtag. Web award, hurt, hurt. Divine Reserve 12, July 31st. Jeremy, a.k.a. Germ, and I'm here with Lenny from St. Arnold's. So tell me a little bit about the award you just got, you guys just won tonight. So I'll let you fight over it for a little bit. Well, we, we do a ton with social media, so it was really cool to kind of get an award and a thank you for that, I guess. So it's just a fun way to promote uh, the company, uh, St. Arnold, obviously a fun way to get out there and connect with the people that drink our beer and, and like our beer, and it's a fun way for them to interact with us as well. So. All right. And I'm eyeing the shirts right now. I'm trying to figure out, number one, how can I get one? And number two, can you explain to me? Okay, so it says hashtag DR12. Right, right. Well, obviously, it's a Twitter thing. Uh, it stands for Divine Reserve 12, which is coming out at the end of uh, July, July 31st. I will definitely hashtag DR12, and they will too if I get a shirt. You will. Next one is for the best IRL. That's the acronym for in real life. And the winner is an extension of KPFT's Tech Show Technology Bites. And the group that has been the most target of In Your Mom's Basement Jokes, the Keith Gathering. It's the Keith Gathering, the Keith Gathering Bikes and Geek Gatherings. 
So can you explain it a little to me a little bit about what happens at a Geek Gathering? Well, the Geek Gathering was started in 2002, before okay. social media was all big and stuff, to get these computer nerds and these tech people together and talk face to face and, you know, just get their geek on and have an opportunity to to interact with other geeks and other nerds and share ideas and share uh, you know share concepts and things and we it's just been a huge success we've uh, we've watched the whole social media thing explode around us but the geeks behind all of this also have a social life and I think that's partially due to the the geek gathering that we have on the first Friday of every month. All right, and that showcases that. Can an inspiring geek join in on the geek gathering? Anybody can join in on the geek gathering. We basically what we do is we get on the air every Wednesday night and then come time for the geek gathering we just get on the on, on a hundred thousand watt radio station in the fourth largest city in the nation and we say hey whoever you are out there we can't see you <laughs> But you're invited, so come on out, and you never know. You just don't know who's going to show up. But we've had some really awesome people show up, scientists and and engineers from all over the city come, have come out and hung out with us from NASA and stuff. It's awesome. Well guys, that's all for me. I'm Tiffany Renee, and we've had a great time here tonight at the second annual Houston Press Web Awards. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.